So um, turning to the testing for uh, employees who have tested positive or, or sus under the suspicion of having COVID-19, the getting a lot of questions this week with everybody reopening uh, and the employees coming back to work that might have been exposed to COVID-19 at home or exposed from other coworkers at the workplace that have had it and what to do. So the CDC guidance, I've got this slide up right now on the return to work for essential workers. Now it's critical, you need to make a, a distinction between essential and the non-essential workers. So the guidelines are a little more relaxed for the essential workers um, when they've been exposed to somebody with COVID-19. They're, they're allowed to continue to work. That's just with the exposure. Uh, they can uh, allowed to continue to work as long as the, the employee and the employer are monitoring their symptoms. The minute they have any symptoms, they have to go home. Um, now, for non-essential workers, if they're exposed, the CDC is saying they have to self-quarantine for 14 days. And the CDC has said, look, you know, it's, um, and I'll get to it in the next slide a little bit, but um, <laughs> it's a, a little weird. If you've been exposed, you have to self-quarantine for 14 days. If you've actually tested positive for um, COVID-19 and you don't have any symptoms, you can actually get back to work within 10 days if certain other requirements are met. You don't have any symptoms and you're getting better and you've met these uh, testing requirements. Two tests, 24 hours apart, you can get back to work in 10 days. So the CDC says, look, we recognize that some of these Reg, uh, regulations are seem a little contradictory, but they've got them there for a reason. So it's tricky. The uh, website is tricky to navigate, and the handouts that I have available with the software today walks through that on the testing and uh, when employees can come back to work. But it's critical to make that determination uh, between essential and non-essential workers and which test applies. So for essential workers, if, if an employee tests positive and has symptoms and is, stayed, is staying at home, um, if they've been tested and they don't have a fever, the respiratory symptoms improve, and there's two negative tests in a row, at least 24 hours in a part, they can return to work. If the employee is not tested, so there has been no COVID-19 test, but they have no fever for three days, and the respiratory symptoms improve, and at least 10 days have passed since the symptoms first appeared, then they can return to work. But be careful about this, approach it with caution, and definitely have some guidance from a health professional as well uh, before you have uh, employees returning to work that are confirmed or suspected of COVID-19. Now, we've got some guidelines. The CDC has been publishing these guidelines, and in the handout that I have available, I've got a link to the cleaning as well. And, um, and again, they've got very strict requirements. And the key thing here, too, if there's a positive test in the workplace. There are no guidelines that says, I'm getting this question this week, do we have to shut down our location if there's a positive test? And you don't necessarily have to shut down your whole establishment if there's a positive, somebody's at work confirmed to have COVID-19. The CDC does say any area that they have worked in should be quarantined and then cleaned. And they do say, they recommend to wait at least 24 hours to let everything settle before cleaning and having an approved um, company come in to do the cleaning. But uh, it's not required that uh, you wait 24 hours, but it's a recommendation from the CDC. And then obviously you need to start indicating to uh, the other employees who have been exposed as well, communicating with them. And you can't start disclosing the employees uh, medical information and maybe who had it, things like that. Uh, they've got privacy interests that y the employer has to protect, but make those disclosures that uh, these other employees may have been exposed to it, depending on if they're essential workers or not, you need to follow those protocols. To the extent you don't have essential workers in your workplace and they've been exposed to a coworker that had uh, COVID-19, you do have to quarantine those workers, send them home for 14 days under the CDC guidelines.